In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create a new JIRA ticket. Whether you're new to JIRA or just in need of a refresher, this guide will provide you with a clear understanding of how to navigate the process. So let's dive right into it. JIRA is a powerful tool frequently used for issue tracking and project management. Creating tickets allows you to manage tasks, stories, bugs and epics effectively within your project flow. It's fairly simple once you get the hang of it and I'm here to walk you through it step by step. The first thing you want to do is head over to the Your Work section in JIRA. This is the hub for everything you're engaged with, including recent projects, issues assigned to you, and things you've added to your favourites. Think of it like your personalised dashboard. It's your starting point for creating a new ticket. To access this section, simply log into JIRA and click on the Your Work tab located prominently in the main menu. This area will keep you organised and ensure you have everything you need at your fingertips. Once you're on the Your Work page, the next step is to find and click on the Create button. This is your gateway to initiating a new ticket. Depending on your JIRA setup and permissions, this button might be in different spots on the toolbar, but rest assured, it's pretty straightforward to find. Clicking this button opens up a new window where you can start detailing your ticket. It's almost like opening up a blank slate to note down what needs to be addressed or tracked in JIRA. With the creation window open, you'll need to select a project. This step is crucial because every ticket or task you're about to create needs a home and assigned project. These projects are set up typically by your organization or team and can be anything from a specific client name to a broader category like QA testing. Use the drop down menu to select the correct project. This selection ensures that your ticket is filed correctly and can be tracked by everyone involved in that project. This might sound simple, but it's a critical part of ensuring efficient communication and collaboration. Next, you'll want to select an issue type. JIRA offers flexibility with different issue types such as stories, epics, bugs, or tasks. Each of these serves a different purpose within your project's workflow. A story, for example, usually details a specific feature or element you're developing. An epic represents a larger body of work spanning multiple stories. Bugs track problems or defects within the software. Tasks generally denote smaller, more specific units of work. Make sure you choose the correct issue type to maintain organization and clarity within your project. This choice helps team members quickly understand the purpose and context of your ticket. After selecting the project and issue type, it's time to type the summary of the ticket. The summary acts as the title or headline, providing a concise description of what the ticket is all about. It's important to make it brief but informative, sort of like a news headline that piques interest and conveys enough information in a glance. A well-written summary makes it easier for team members to scan and prioritise issues efficiently. Following the summary, you'll need to enter the description. Click on the description field and provide more detailed information about the issue or task. This is where you elaborate on what needs to be done, including any specific requirements, context, or screenshots that might aid in understanding the issue better. Providing thorough details here is instrumental as it helps team members tackle tasks or issues more effectively, minimizing back and forth communications later on. Once you've filled in all the necessary information, the last step is to click on the Create button located at the bottom of the window. By doing this, you officially log the ticket into the system, making it visible and trackable by everyone involved in the project. It's akin to sending off an email until you hit send, or in this case create, it's just sitting there waiting. And there you have it, you've successfully created a new JIRA ticket. This ticket now becomes part of your project's workflow, allowing you and your team to manage tasks, track progress and resolve issues efficiently. Take a moment to pat yourself on the back for mastering this essential skill. With practice, you'll find that creating tickets becomes second nature. By following these steps and tips, you'll be well equipped to navigate JIRA like a pro. Remember, organization and communication are key in any collaborative project, and JIRA is a fantastic tool to help with precisely that. Thanks for watching, and happy ticketing.